I'm trying to think like what my dad would like. <laughs> Today at the British Red Cross, our local charity shop in Halstead, and we're going to be doing the Crafty Upcycle Challenge. I've got 30 minutes and £10 to buy all the items that I need to upcycle, and we're going to be upcycling them in the Happy Fabric Office with our iron on vinyl. Let's go! This one I just found and I love it. I think it'll look really nice with vinyl on like red writing. It looks so good. Um, I love the frills and the sleeves. And it's a stretch fabric, so use a bit of stretch vinyl maybe on it. You wanna look good? Perfect. <laughs> This really cute sort of floral black and white top. That's really nice. The blazer, that looks really nice as well. And it has quite a lot of potential for different makes. And the denim top. And I love this frayed edging. And the top all around the sort of sleeves and around the bottom hem as well. Lovely. section. <laughs> that has potential. But I feel like I'm putting a whole <laughs> like outfit together here. But that would look really nice. Comes to £1.73. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi everyone, we're back at the Happy Fabric Studio and I'm just going to recap you on all the things that we brought. So this is the first one and it's a nice floral ditzy print and I'm, my plan is to add some red florals onto this, maybe in a larger size and in the flock too, which would be really nice and velvety. So that's the first one and I think that's about £3.99 so go on again. This one, which is like a checkered gingham type top and it is stretchy, so it's like a stretch jersey with the lovely frilly sleeves, which I love and I'm planning on using Happy Flex Stretch on this one so I'm planning on cutting out a slogan to add onto the front and then last but not least, this lovely autumnal looking cushion and this was £1.99 I think the other top was about £3.99 as well, so all in all I spent just under my budget of £10. And for this one I'm planning on adding a little like autumnal rainbow on the front in some nice autumnal colours. So let's get started. So I've created this mood board and it involves all the floral inspiration behind my top and I'm going to choose red for the florals, a bit like different reds in this photo. So you will need so you will need an iron, happy flock in signal red, three spruce paper, your t-shirt or top, scissors and a giant sketchbook. Oh, and a pen. So firstly I'm just going to draw out my template. I'm drawing the circle first and then four petals around the edge. And this will be my template for my vinyl. So I'm now just going to cut this out. So the next step is to place your template on and with a normal biro pen just draw around your flower just like that and you'll need to do quite a few so that you can create a large spread across your top. So I'd say do a good A4 sheet at first and see how many you want onto your top. Alternatively you could draw out your design on the computer 
and you use a vinyl cutter to cut out your shapes. So if you place your flower onto the top, shiny side up, and then grab a greaseproof paper, add that on top, and then your iron needs to be on the 165 degree setting, which is just above the two dot setting. And then just press this for 10 to 15 seconds. So I've just waited for this to cool for a couple of seconds and then you can push against the fabric and the top carrier just peel off. Okay, so I've just ironed the rest of them on and now I just need to peel off the top carrier off of each piece of vinyl and then it be done. And it's all finished. Um, I've just wanted to say a little tip is to always cut your vinyl maybe in half as you can see around this seam here so then you can get more of a repeat pattern so i've done it across some of my sleeves as well and also on the back too so now i'm moving on to my cushion and i'll just show you a mood board that i've done so this is um, a collection of ideas really of what I've come to the conclusion of so I've got a mix of autumnal colours because this is quite an autumnal sort of red tone and I'm going to be doing a nice little hand cut rainbow on it you will need an iron a collection of vinyl so these are all happy flock so you've got burgundy grey and yellow you've got greaseproof paper a pen a cushion scissors and a notepad. So the first step you need to do is to draw out your rainbow template the size that you need it for the cushion. The next step you need to do is cut out your rainbow. So the next step is to draw around each of your templates in different colours. So I'm going to go for the burgundy first, then grey and then the yellow. So now you just need to cut around your pen lines, making sure they've all been cut off. So I need to make sure the cushion insert is out of the cushion. Let's just take that out now. Then you need to figure out which, which side that you want to do it. Do your design on, so that side I think. And then get your iron and pre-press. So now I'm going to go in with my first large arch. Just place it in the middle roughly. About there. And then get your rosary paper and pop that on top. So your iron needs to be on the 165 degree setting, which is just above the two dot setting. And then just press with your iron without moving your iron around. Just leave it in one place so the design doesn't move. And this is for 10 to 15 seconds because it's flop. So once you've pressed your first arch and made sure that each area has got the 10 to 15 seconds each. So even heat across the whole lot. And then you put the grey piece on. So just give it a little shake and make sure it's nice and cool before you peel it off. So now it's ready to peel. So you just push against the fabric and the vinyl carrier. And then this is the best part. Woo! So it's all made and I love it. It's all velvety, so it's got a lovely finish to it. So our last project is this lovely stretchy checkered top. 
and I've done also done a little mini board for this one as well. So I want to add some sort of slogan on the front. Um, I quite liked the tray lovely, the ooh la la, uh, wildflower, things like that. And I think a white writing would look good. And you never know, I might even add some pom poms. You will need an iron, grease proof paper, white happy flex stretch because we're doing it on a stretchy fabric, a t shirt. And you can use a silhouette cutter to cut it out, or alternatively, you could cut this by hand using scissors and a pen, similar to like the template that we've done before. So now it's time to cut out my design. So I'll be using the silhouette cameo to cut out my slogan, but alternatively at home, you could also draw it out and cut it by hand. So I'm just going to be showing you now how to cut it out. There is also a YouTube video online where you can see all the steps that you need. Now I'm just going to weed out my design. So I've written the lovely in the silhouette cutters, just cut all my wording out for me. So if you slowly peel it away, sometimes you don't need the weeding tool, and it will reveal your writing. And because it's stretch vinyl, it's very stretchy. Now I'm just cutting around the design for all the vinyl pieces that I need, so I only need the lovely. So the rest of the vinyl can be used for another day. Next step is to pre-press my t-shirt, just to make sure all the creases and the moisture is out of the top. Now you need to place your slogan onto the middle of the t-shirt. And that's the shiny side up, so the shiny side will be facing you. I'm going to place it roughly top middle on it. So, that there. Then you add your greaseproof paper on top. And because this is Hubby Flex Stretch, you need your iron on the two dot setting, which is 150 degrees, and to press each area for 10 seconds. So, I'm going to start off with the L side first. So now, once you've ironed them on, you can now peel off the top carrier, nice and slowly. To reveal your slogan. So these are the finished free items and I absolutely love them. I love to hear your thoughts and your comments. If you could comment below of what your favourite is, that would be great. And if you want to join in with our Crafty Upcycle Challenge, use the hashtag the Crafty Upcycle in all your makes so that we can see too. Hello, I'm Jackie, I'm the manager of the British Red Cross Charity Shop in Halstead and this is Michaela, she's the assistant manager. Um, today we were visited by Happy Fabric, um, two nice young ladies came to see us, spent some time <laughs> in our shop, um, they selected a couple of things that they want to take back and upcycle, um, it's something that you could do at home, so if you want to come into our shop, come and find a hidden gem um, and turn old into new.